What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part we did none other than basically we basically got the red key and start off we basically made a crystal palace and started off crystal palace this part we're going to cr finish crystal palace and save the last star spirit that's being held here anyway so we got the red key in the last part and we got a couple of the badges but um yeah we're going to do pretty we're doing pretty well so far but um now there's going to be I think um Yeah, we're gonna fight these enemies so I can actually see one trick speedrunners use to get out of this, this get out of this. They use like power came at lack of luster, which is nice and all that, but I wanna level up, so we're gonna fight these enemies. Okay, attack multiple times, but uh Yeah, I don't wanna use too much FP because it's gonna be I can only afford one mega quake, so um And every time you kill one of these, these their statue in the background is here. I won't let you own I won't you I won't and I won't and I won't. You can't. Anyway, so have we have to fight him. This game take give I'd say this game rid of the magic hoopas first because they can heal your you can heal the other enemies or just raise their offense and defense. Like these magic hoopas are much worse than the ones at the begin the one at the beginning of the game. him out we should get a level up by the next one yeah we got eight star points we should get exact i think we should get exactly enough for a level up the coins not the mm, coins are gonna matter we're not gonna need them much anymore hey didn't you hear me i said i'm not bugging you got that anyways we're gonna have to fight these guys i'm just gonna mega quake their asses because i know we're gonna get a level up It didn't kill them, unfortunately, but wait, let's just switch to Cooper and Power Shell. Yeah, this is gonna kill them. Oh, we we're one short. We're one short of a level up. So I miscalculated. So we have to fight one more enemy and we'll get us a level up. But unfortunately, we don't have any FP left, so uh. Now we can get through the now we can get through that area though it's previously being blocked, but we have to need we need bomb mats, so we might as well um Now I wanna use uh there's actually a badge I wanna get over here. If you go over here we get the triple dip badge for let's just use three items during one turn. And what we have to do here is we have to kind of use bomb mat. We have to kind of time the explosion for when she lands on the switch. So um, it's a little bit of a tricky puzzle to figure out at first. But hey, we're gonna level up because we're gonna fight this enemy. But um, we're just gonna get rid of one of these clubbers because I find them more dangerous than the magic koopas. Get. Alright, let's just hammer them. I think that should be enough to kill them. What isn't? Well... Let's just switch to Watt, because she can actually, uh, she can deal shock enemies. And then when the last- Magic was the last one standing, they just run away, but, uh... Now, we're gonna increase FP, because it's been a while since we've done that. Very well as we put our FP up, so we might as well do that. So, um, I don't know why I went all the way back there, but, um, we have a level up. So we're kind of like, we already have our BP max level. So, um, we have 30 HP, 30 FP, and 30 BP. How fitting. Um, more Cooper. So, um, it's going to kind of, this, you have to kind of follow the mirror right here, the reflection. You have to kind of stand where Mario's standing in. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, you look at me, I'm the real dude, nobody else like Cooper. Mario, come on, I'm Cooper, I mean, this is ridiculous. I just said that, Cooper. I'm the real Cooper, Sonny, you believe me, don't you? I'm the real Cooper, there isn't any doubt in your mind, there isn't there, brother? 
You know what? Luigi, they're impersonating Luigi of all people. We're gonna hit him first. Brother, I said it was a real cute but so many times. So mean. Just joking, I definitely thought I'd be going there though. Oh, Mario, well done. I don't know if you did it, but you found me out. Ooh, that hair is so good job. You must have barely seen how to spot me anyway. So, um, how are they even able to impersonate like these characters? You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Anyway. Yes, yes, good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. There were Those were the worst disguises ever. I love how even Cooper's making fun of it. Like, I've grown to like Cooper as a character. I used to really not like using him, but I've just grown to like him. Um, you get a star piece, so, um... There's a jam and a maple syrup, so... Let's get rid of the super shrimp. Okay, that's, that's too big for us to push. We have to find another way to, to get down there. We have to go, and there's still a locked door, so we have to find a key that's in one of these areas. So, um... We're actually approaching the boss, so, um... We just have a whole section left, but, um... There's another star piece, and, um... I think this is the last star piece we'll get from casually playing through the game. And, uh, jam and jelly, so... I need the jam and jelly for a tasty recipe. I don't think I need four life drums, so we'll get rid of one of them. If we go in here, we get, um... Actually, this is the badge I want. We have the PFB down badge, which we're gonna go equip that, because, um... This basically raises our offense by one, but it lowers our defense by one. I think it's a solid badge to use if you're using, like, attack strats. Now we just have to find, I think that key, now, previously it was that we hit, we put, we got, we got an open area through the mirror and it was the same time outside of the mirror. I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, either way, since the mirror logic, that thing is pushed. So that's kind of how you do it. I don't want to fight that duple ghost. We get the palace key, but um, I'm gonna switch to Watt because we're approaching the boss and Watt's by far my favorite party member to use. Like she can up her attack and um. Anyway, so now I have Cooper out of my party because I just switched to a mid battle, but now I'm gonna switch to Watt for real. But um, that was like four Duplagos and two Magic Koopas. So um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to see if we can, uh, we're gonna use the palace key that we just got. So um, we're approaching the boss, and we're approaching with the last Star Spirit. It's been a hell of a ride, a hell of a past two months playing through this game. And um, I'm kind of kind of changing my schedule, uploading schedule to release these videos on a faster pace. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's been a wild ride playing through Paper Mario. I really love this. Even though the games have really gone downhill in recent years, like, um, and I'm just ha and I probably shouldn't have high hopes for the Thousand Door remake, but like, um. I still really enjoy the first few Paper Marios. Like, they were staples in my childhood. Like, um... Like, Paper Mario was good. A Thousand Year Door was just as good. Arguably even better. And I even like some aspects of Super Paper Mario, even though it's a little different. But, um... I don't know. It's like, the 2010s were just very hostile to Paper Mario. It was one of those Nintendo franchises. And on top of that, like... I played Origami King, and I wasn't impressed by that one, either. Yeah, I probably sh the only, I think the only reason I have high hopes for the Thousand Year Door remake is because the Super Mario RPG remake turned out really well. Like, that one's one of my favorite remakes of all time. But anyway, we're going to, um... We're gonna heal, and we're gonna trick our badge really quick. We're gonna use D-Down Jump, because we could use Power Bounce Strats, but I wanna try to see if I can fight this boss legitimately. We don't need Mega Quake anymore, so, um... We haven't 
fought a boss using a peekaboo, so I guess we can go with that. We're approaching the boss. Who comes to my palace? Mario, you finally arrived. Hey, hey, hey. I know you believe you can save the stars, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First, I was leading you from my Bowser and Ice Mario. Now, this is Crystal King. He is a very tough fight for this part of the game. Like, um, you see those crystal bits over there? They do one HP each, but um, he will, they will, uh, he will inhale those and spit them at you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna land on a D down jump because he has two whole points of defense and uh. We're gonna, we're gonna electro dash one of the crystal bits, so he'll have less to throw at me and we'll take less damage. You wanna try to see if you can block both of these, but uh, yeah, we he already did a solid eight damage. Um, He'll also heal, and when he gets really low on health, um, we're gonna turbo charge, but um, when he gets really low on health, he'll duplicate himself. That's why I bought the shooting star. Now a turbo charge will do eight damage, so um we'll do 16 damage. So he's already almost down, so um he's probably gonna try to heal himself though. Actually, wait a minute, never mind. He's gonna just uh He's gonna just chuck these at us. We're gonna D-down jump one more time. He's probably gonna try to heal next turn, but um Yeah, he's, he'll heal 20 HP, but, um... Alright, so let's, um... I don't have... I don't have a party member that can do 9 HP, unfortunately. I think he's gonna try to heal once again, but, um... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna keep healing. No matter how many times you keep healing, you're eventually just gonna run out of HP. But, um... When he knows he's fucked, he's essentially gonna try to duplicate himself. I wanna see if I can... Maybe I can show that, maybe I won't, but I don't know. It depends on how quickly I take him out. Or I'll also do this. Um, if you if you don't if you fail to time that, he'll basically just uh, freeze you. But anyway, one more jump attack and he's dead. We have forty. We have forty three star points. Oh no! The last star spirit, King Bowser. Forgive me. And that is it. That is the last star spirit in Paper Mario. It's been a long ride, but it's been a long ride well worth it. End of chapter. Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from Crystal Palace at the edge of, edge of the world. Now with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it's time for Mario's showdown with the evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod, or will wishes forever go ungranted? Anyway, so I will see you guys next time on Paper Mario. Next time on Paper Mario, we're going to approach the end. See you guys then.